In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of beautiful blog photography website or photography portfolio website. This website also contains the blog part. So if you want to create a photography blog, you can also follow this video to create this kind of website. So right here at the top, you can see we have this header. So this is the logo and this is the part of the header. And then this is a subtitle for the header or the logo. You can also call it tagline. And then you have this beautiful carousel that contains all of these images of course you can change all of these images according to your needs and whichever images you would like to use after that we have this services section where you can display your own services whichever you would like to display and then at the last this is an about us section and at the bottom you have this portfolio section like i was telling you you can use this for photography portfolio as well and then this is an additional section for some additional excerpt if you would like and then you also have a testimonial section where you can can display the testimonials on your website if you want you can also have the pricing plan section where you can display different kind of pricing plans for your services and then you have this beautiful parallax call to action section and at the last you have this blog post section and then if you want you can also attach your instagram page and at the bottom you have this footer at the bottom now if we scroll up you can see we have further pages and we also have a very dedicated beautifully designed blog page where you can display the blog post as you know that blog posts are very important if you want to rank organically in on search engine like google or bing you have to create the quality content only then your website will get ranked but still you have this beautiful design to showcase different kind of blog posts to share with your audience it has this sidebar as well and you can categorize your blog post according to the content and if i open one of these blog posts you can see the structure of the single blog post and here you can see we have the hero image at the top or the featured image at the top then the title category and then the entire uh, blog post at the right side we have this author info and then latest post instagram and some other things some of the images are not loading that is fine you can add your own images here and then we have this related post section after that we also have a dedicated portfolio page if i open the portfolio page you can see this is how the portfolio page is looking when you hover over you can give them a different name and you can also click on them and it will open in a new tab where you can display further images according to this portfolio next up we have this dedicated about us page to share information about yourself and your services or your company services and then we have this contact page so that people can reach out to you i wanted to show you this because before you start watching this tutorial you should know that what we are going to create if you are interested in learning how to create this kind of photography portfolio and blog website then without further ado let's get started now so first of all you will have to purchase the domain and hosting for the website so a domain is like the address so consider domain like an address to your house and the hosting is like the land where your house is located in this digital realm will require a domain name and then a hosting to host your website so i used several hosting providers and domain providers there are many out there but if you are really tight for budget i would recommend going for this ionos and if you will go to their website which is ionos.com and if you will click on this hosting you will see here web hosting tab if you will click on this web hosting you can see you will get hosting for one dollar per month with 99.9 percent .9 of uptime and this is the year plan which is one dollar per month for six months and then you will get unlimited websites in that plan and then unlimited storage unlimited database and then you also get free domain for one year and you also get the professional email with ssl certificate and daily backup and recovery system plus you will get 24 by 7 support i am not affiliated with with them in any ways i'm just showing you this that this is one of the hosting providers if you are really curious about the budget so for that what you can do is to simply click on this add to cart button and once you will click on this add to cart button right here you will have to provide the name or the desired name of your domain so for example if i'll search for a random domain name creative graphics 
pk so here you will just type in your domain name and then you will have to click on this check button and once you will click on this check button here it will say if the domain is available or not and then it will also give you some alternative domain extension to pick from and here you can see it is saying one year free so wherever it says one year free that means that domain is free and you can select that domain so anyway select one of the domain once you will select the domain just click on this add to cart and once you will click on this add to cart your domain will be added into the cart now in here you can see right here you can see your domain so click on this cart and here you can see it says web hosting plus and the domain name whichever you will select then click on this continue button and once you will click on this continue button you will redirect it to this page and there you can see they are asking if you want to get the cdn or if you want to get the store and share data 100 gb cloud storage space or malware security anything if you don't want any of these things just click on this continue button and once you will click on this continue button they will redirect you to your cart page so right here this is the cart page and here you can see this is our hosting plan and this is the domain that we are getting and right now the total is 99 and the domain is actually coming for two years so we can actually change this term to only one year and then in here the selected contract is for 78 dollar because they are giving it for six months you can change the duration here for six months if you want otherwise this will cost you as 78 dollar so from here you can click on this continue button and if you will click on this continue button you will be redirected to this checkout page from here you can select the paypal or you can continue to the checkout page and you will click on the checkout page and once you will click on the checkout page here you will have to fill out all of these details and after that you will have to click on this continue to payment option and once you will click on continue to payment option they will ask you to provide the payment details including the debit or credit card or mastercard or visa card whichever you use and then you can pay using those cards and once you will do that your domain and hosting will be ready to use another option that you have is this name chip right here and for the name chip you will just search for namecheap.com and here under the hosting tab you can click on this shared hosting and once you will click on this shared hosting you can see they are giving it for 198 per month and save 56 percent on first year and here you can click on this get started and right here you will have to select on this connect to new domain because you are going to search for new domain if you already have an existing domain you will just select this option existing domain so for now let's just choose this option and here you can search for the domain name so let's just search for creative graphics just like the way we searched there and once you will search for the domain name here it will take some time until it will provide you these options you can choose one of these domain and right here you can see they are showing the prices so let's just pick any random domain and then click on this connect to hosting and once you will connect to hosting right here you can see they are showing you that the hosting is stellar plus and the domain is this one and this is actually 23.06 and then you can click on this add to cart and once you will click on this add to cart this will be added into your cart and then in here you will see all of these options there are some add-ons if you want you can add these add-ons to your website otherwise you can just click on this confirm order and once you will click on the confirm order they will ask you to create your account so here you can create your account and then you will be redirected where you will have to pay for the domain and hosting so you have these different kind of options available there are many hosting providers out there but i think it's up to you whichever you would like to use so once you will get that then we can begin to start creating our website so in my case i already have the hosting on the ionos account so we are going to set up the website on the ionos account so right here you can see i am logged into my ionos account and from here what i actually want to do is to click on this websites and stores in your case if it is your new account you you can still click on this website and stores and once you will click there you will see something like this where you will see you are already installed website but here you can see i, I already have this dummy domain so what i can do is to create a new domain here or a new website in this tab so for that you can see this option that says create a website so click on this create a website and once you will click on this create a website right here you will see this option website builder or wordpress and more we are going to use wordpress so choose wordpress from here then the, you will find these options you don't have to choose any of these options because they are promoting these managed wordpress plans what you actually want to do is to click here open source solution for your online store just click right here and once you will click on here you will find these applications so we are going to use wordpress so click on this install 
install button right here and once you will click on this install button you will find something like this here you will have to choose manage wordpress yourself and once you will click on manage wordpress yourself right here it will ask you for the project name so type in any project name i'll type in randomly so let's just call it photography portfolio blog okay then click on next and once you click on next here it will ask you for the username and the password that you will use to access the wordpress dashboard so i'll use my name and then for the password i can choose a random password here then you can click on this next button and once you will click on this next button here it will ask you to select the domain so here you can see i already have one domain here which is creativegraphicspk.com i'll use that domain and then you can click on this next button and then in here you can see everything is in green check marks which means we have done these things correctly and now you can click on this install wordpress and once you will click on this install wordpress the wordpress installer will begin and then you will have to wait until the wordpress will finish installation so right here you can see our wordpress has been successfully installed and once it will get installed you can just click on this edit website button right here and once you will click on this edit website you will be redirected to this kind of page where you will have to log into the account remember the username and the password that i used we can use that username and password to log into our website here so i'll just type in username and in here i'll have to type in the password that i selected during the wordpress installation process now i usually check mark this option remember me so that it doesn't ask me for the login details every time so with those details you will be redirected to your wordpress dashboard and this is how the wordpress dashboard looks so for this website we are going to use a theme called malestrina and this is blog and photographer wp theme using elementor page builder so this theme is available on monster one which is actually the product of template monster and you can actually download this theme from here for the pricing if you will go to the pricing option right here on this website which is actually monster one.com forward slash pricing you will see this pricing plan what you actually need to do is to get this all-in-one plan which is actually 50 1550 per month and you will get all of these uh, graphic design assets presentation templates wordpress templates e-commerce themes plugins and all of these additional things along with that you will also get this web liam which is the another product for website creation and draft tm to get free access to website prototyping tool you can get it from here and this is actually 30 percent off right now so you can save 30 percent from here and once you will purchase this access you will be able to download this theme for free so right here you can see i already have the access and i am logged into my account that is why it is giving me this download option i have already downloaded this theme so for download you can just click on this download and here it will ask you to download this so just download this theme here and after you download the theme you can get back to the wordpress dashboard and from here what you actually want to do is to open the theme that you have downloaded so in my case i have this theme available in this compressed folder and right here this is the file that contains the theme so here you can see it is real malestrina theme and it contains the elementor kit theme file and the child theme file along with the documentation so we are going to use this theme file i'll just extract this entire folder on my desktop because we are going to use this thing over and over again let's just rename this to the theme name and then click ok and this will extract this theme on the desktop now you can go to this appearance themes and once you will go to this themes just click on this add new theme from here just click on this upload theme and then click on this choose file now on the desktop i have created this new folder and here is the theme file so just select the theme file and then click on install now and once you will click on install now the theme will start getting uploaded and once it will get uploaded just click on this activate button and once you will click on this activate the theme will get activated and here you will find the theme let's just get rid of any additional themes that comes by default with the wordpress press installation because we are not going to use those themes so let's just delete them so here you can see the theme require following plugin so we'll have to install following plugin so click on this begin installing plugins and then select all of these plugins at once and then click on this install and then click apply and once you will click on apply it will automatically keep installing plugins by itself you will just have to wait if this gets stuck at some place then just go back and then click one by one on install and then it will automatically install all of these plugins for you sometimes this just get stuck and you don't actually have to worry about that in that case we will just 
install and activate those plugins one by one that is another way around so here you can see i have already installed all of the required plugins now from here you can go to this plugins and here you will have to ensure all of those plugins are activated if not just bulk select these and from here just click activate and it will activate all of those plugins when you will do that now once again go back to appearance theme right here and once you will go to this appearance theme right here you will see this option import demo data so click on this import demo data option right here and once you will come on this this page from here just click on this blue button that says import demo data so click on this import demo data and once again it will ask you to install some additional plugin just click on this continue and import and it will start importing all of those demo data that comes with the theme so right here you can see our demo has been successfully imported now let's just review our website in a new tab now here you can see this is how our website is looking so we are having some problem with the color imports that will have have to fix but the typography is also something that we'll have to look after but everything else all the elements are looking fine so let's just start fixing these themes that didn't come through with the demo import so the first thing that you have to do is to click on this customize button right here so once you will click on this customize button this customizer will start getting loaded now from here you will see this option header so once you will click on this header first thing you will see is site identity so here you can start uploading your own logo or if you want you can just use the site title so in my case remember we use this site title as photography portfolio blog so let's just keep it as only photography and you will see that we'll only have photography here so here you can see we only have photography now for the default font i want to use this comorant garamond font so select this coromant garamond font and here you you can fix its font sizes and other thing but let's just keep it as default because i think default was looking fine so i i'll just change it back to default and here you can see this is how it is looking now in here you can change the font size and the colors and the line heights and here you can attach the site icons now you can go back here and make sure you click publish button here and next up you have this header style so in the header style you can see you have this background header color and then header social color which is this one and this header social hover color which is when i hover where you can see the color is changing so you can change those color here and then here is the main menu you can go back from here and then in here you have this site style so click on this site style and first thing you will see is this typography so for the body font you want to use this font which is moolish so in your case if this is something different just change it to moolish and it will apply automatically to the entire website and for the font heading just change it to cormorant garamond and it will get applied to the entire website then just go back and make sure you update everything from here then there is nothing else that you will have to look into except if you want to insert the social networks links you can insert them here which will get applied to these social media links so i'm not going to apply them i'll just go back and here you can see this is how it is looking our slider is looking just fine but we are having a big problem fixing the colors here which are not coming through quite right so in order to fix these colors what you will have to do is to click on this edit with elementor button and once you will click on the edit with elementor button the elementor page builder will start getting loaded you will have to wait until it will get loaded then from here just click on these three dots and then click on this site settings because we are going to change the site settings then for the global fonts just click here and for the primary font make sure you keep it as cormorant garamond because we are going to use that font as the primary font and then for the secondary font make sure you choose this moolish font for the text we also want to use this moolish and for the accent font we also want to use this moolish font as well so go back from here the next up we'll have to fix the global colors so click on this global colors now in the primary color make sure you choose this color code c49488 and then for the secondary i would use this color code which is f6 E F E D and then for the text I want to keep it as black color and for the accent I want to keep the same 
color code as of this one then after that just click update and then you can close this thing make sure you do all of these things that i just showed you otherwise you will face big problem in the layout of your website or the colors and the typography of your website now on the remaining places wherever you will see something weird just click over the element and then go to this style tab and then where it says text color right here you will see this global element click on the global element and choose the colors that we have added so in my case i'll choose primary so now you can see this is looking fine and then there is a tiny divider right here so let's just change the color of that divider to this color and now you can see this is how it is looking about the typography just click on the font or the paragraph or the heading then go to style tab and once again here under the typography choose the primary here and it will apply the primary font same thing you can do here you can go to this style tab just click here and where it says font you can search for cormorant garamond and this is the font that we are using so this thing looking fine but this thing right here is not looking fine so we'll have to change the background color so click on this six dots and then go to this style tab and then click here and this time click on this secondary color and once you will click on the secondary color you can see this is how it is looking before we actually proceed i would like to open the demo in a new tab so that we can track what we are doing all right so here you can see i have opened the website in a new tab so that we can fix the color problems and the typography problems on the website now up to this section the second section everything looks fine but for the third section we need to change these colors for the typography so I'll just scroll down the background color seems fine but for this big text right here we need to change the color to the black color so I'll just click on this um, heading and then I'll click on this global tag and then I'll just change the color now there is another thing here so we'll need to change the color for this thing which is a lifetime text here so let's just change the color to this primary color let's just scroll down and right here we are going to change the color of these two paragraphs to the black color so I'll go to the style tab and let's just change the color to the black color and we are going to do the same thing and we are going to change the color to the black color now at the end we have this divider so I'll click on this divider there is the divider I'll go to the style tab and let's just change the color to this color and now you can see this is how it is looking now for the icon I'll change the icon color to the primary color as well and now you can see this section is looking fine now we can scroll down and here you can see for the latest products we want to change the color of this heading to the primary color so I'll change the color to this primary color and for this text right here I want to change the color to this dark color for these items the colors looks fine but for this thing right here we want to change the color here you can see we have this light color in the background so I'll go to this style tab and then in here we can pick the secondary color from here and with that you can see these colors are looking fine now there is a button of view more we'll have to change the color as I hover over you can see there is the element so I'll click on the element and then we can go to the style tab and let's just pick this primary color and now you can see this is how it is looking now here we have the border color so let's just change the border color as well and now you can see this is how it is looking for these testimonials we can change the color to this primary color and for the testimonial text we can change it to the black color now for all of these testimonial items they are looking fine so we will not have to change anything on this testimonials carousels but for these pricing plans right here we want to change the color to the black color so I'll click on this heading and then style tab and then we can change the color to the black color and then for this one as well we can change this to the black color as well now for the divider we can change the divider color to the primary color now for all of these pricing plans you can click on one by one and then you can go to the style tab and here you can see we have this color so I'll choose this accent color and you can see this is looking fine now in here as well go to style tab and change the background color to the accent color and for this third pricing plan as well change the background color to the accent color and here you can see this is looking fine now for this call to action button we actually have an image in the background so I'll just scroll down and then you can click here and then you can click on this style tab and then click on this image and it will automatically get loaded just click on this select button and here you can see this is how it is look now we'll actually have to change the background overlay color so for the overlay color let's just pick the dark color and now you can see this is looking just fine now for this last section for the blog post the heading color is actually the black color so I'll click on the heading and I'll change its color to the black color and for this our blog I'll change its color to the primary color and for the divider right here I'll change the color to the primary color as well now we don't actually need this post so we'll remove this 
the post but other than that we have just fixed the layout the colors and the typography according to what we needed now let me just show you how you can actually change anything on this page or the home page so let's just begin with this slider so in order to edit the slider click on this tiny pencil icon and here you will find all the images just click on these images and here you will find all the images this is actually a gallery so you can add or change any images in the gallery just click on this add to gallery button right here and it will open this media library then in here you can click on this upload file click on select file and then select the file from your computer and then upload them and once you will upload them you can select those images in the gallery and just click on this insert and they will start appearing right here in this gallery now as you scroll down this is the text and changing the text is really easy just click on the text and here in the left panel you will find the text and you can just change the text right here notice i just added s and now the s is showing here if i remove s you can see s is removed so in this way you can change all of these text items right here including this text just change the text right here and you will find them updated real time in the website now let me just change it back to how it was and then for these cards right here just click on the card there is the icon if you want you can change the icon as well these are actually the images so you will have to grab the icons from icon websites some of the icon website are below so if you will search for free icons you will find flat icon icon 8 free icon so these are all the websites from where you can get the icons so download the icons from there and then upload them here here you can change the title from photo shooting to anything you can just type your title right here and then just provide additional description about the service that you are offering right here and then there is the read more button so if you want to link to other pages you can link them here the process applies same for all of these cards now for all of these images just click on the image if you want to update click on the image here you will find the image just click on choose file upload your own file and or you can select one from the media library select one image and then click select and once you will click select here you can see the image has been updated so in this way you can update all of these images here so here this is the text heading again so heading you can change the heading right here and then you can change it here as well you can change them all of these things they are really easy now for the portfolio item you can click on this tiny pencil icon and you can see this is visual portfolio id 169 so in order to edit these portfolio item what you actually have to do is to go back to the wordpress dashboard so for that let's just click on this update button and once you will click on update there are three lines here click here and then click on exit and from here just choose this post and then click apply and then click leave and once you will click leave you will be redirected to the dashboard of your website from here click on these three dots and then disable this full screen mode because we are not going to use the full screen mode now here is the plugin for the portfolio gallery just click on this visual portfolio right here and once you will click on this visual portfolio you will find all of your portfolio items right here now let's just look at that portfolio item again so i'll go back to the website and let's just click on edit with elementor button so once the elementor page builder will get loaded we can actually start looking at the gallery item that is actually showing here so let's just scroll down and here is the gallery so i'll click on this tiny pencil icon and notice it says id 169 so i'll go back here and now we'll actually have to find the gallery that has an id of 169 so from here if you will click on this say saved layouts right here you will find this portfolio one that has an id of visual portfolio id 169 and here if you click on this edit button you will find all of those images right here so here portfolio one it is loading and right here you can see this contains all of the images that we are seeing on the home page so you can find those items here now in order to edit this just click any of these items and right here you will find all of these details you can find and edit everything in this option right here you can go through all of these things right there so once you are satisfied just click on this update button and then you can go back so this is how you can update this featured project option right here the next up these are once again all the images and you can edit those images just the way i told you and this is the text i already showed you how you can edit these text right here 
Next up, we have these testimonials. So this is the heading. You can change the heading here. And this is the testimonial heading as well. You can change it here. These are testimonial carousels. So for the carousels, just click on this tiny pencil icon and here you will find carousels. So just expand one of these things and here you will find the image. If I click on the image here, you can see there is the image. Just click select and it will render the image. And now here you can find the image. This is the client or author name. You will find the author name as well, which is there, Jane and Peter. Emma and Mike, you can find it here and here you will provide the quote or the testimonial that you will find from your client. And if you want, you can display the button as well, which is right now the view more and that is showing right here. If you want, you can add more items as well. Just click on this add item and it will add additional review for you. And notice now they are four. For now, I'll just remove it from here. Next up, we have these pricing plans. So it's updating them is really easy. Just click on this tiny pencil icon. Here is the standard title and here you, will, you can find the standard. Here it says 175. Here is the 175 and there are some additional thing and some additional description and at the end you have this view more button the process applies to the other pricing card as well and you can edit them in the same way now for this thing once again these are all the headings and this is the button you can edit them as well and at the last we have this blog post so for now i'll just update it here so let's just remove this hello world post so i'll just open this home page in a new tab so we can review everything here you can see everything is looking clean and fine now and now we can actually start removing them the post that we don't require so go back to the dashboard and here click on the post and here you will find this hello world just click on this trash right here and once you will click on trash it will be moved to trash and then in here you can click on this empty trash and it will remove the post from the trash now you can click on the visit website and now if I scroll down, you can see now we don't have hello world post right here. So in this way, you can actually remove the post and here you can see our page is actually looking fine. We'll have to update the other pages as well. Now we need the home page. Now under the blog, we have these two items which we do not require. So we are going to remove these items. So in order to remove that, what you actually have to do is to go back to the dashboard. And now from here, click on this appearance and then click on this menu. And once you will click on this menu, here you will find that it says 118 invalid. Just remove this thing from here. And then in here where it says blog, just remove this part from here and remove this part from here as well and then click on this save menu and once you click on save menu here you want to add this portfolio page so check mark this portfolio and click on this add to menu and drag it right below the blog and then click on this save menu now if we go back to the website and if i refresh this website notice now we have blog and portfolio here and now we can actually click on this portfolio as i click on portfolio you can see this is how this page is looking so let's just go back to the home. So here you can see this is our home page. Now let's just start looking at the blog page. So this is the blog page. You don't actually have to do a lot on the blog page because everything here is properly laid out. But in case if you want to add something, there is an easy way around. So in order to edit these things, what you can do is to go back to the dashboard and here you will find these option widgets. So click on the widgets right here. And once you will click on the widget, you will find something like this. Just click on this next, next, next and get started button. Now here you will find and this it says sidebar so in the sidebar if i go here you can see we have the search bar this recent post recent comments archives so recent post we want to keep this recent comments let's just remove them because we might not want to use that and for the archive we might not want to use them as well so let's just remove them for the categories maybe you want to keep them so let's just keep them and then there is the author box so here is the image i'll just click on the upload image once and then you you can pick any of the images or you can go back and here you can type the title about author the text about author and the signature and here is the latest post if you want to keep them and here is the instagram so i'll just remove the instagram because we don't want to use it on this website and here is the followers and there you will find all the tags maybe i don't want to display the tags so i'll just remove them from here because i don't need them and then there are social media icons we already have social media icons in the header so i'll just remove it from here and once again we have the categories i'll just remove them from here because they are just duplicated now once you will edit these things just click on this update button right here and then you can go back and now if i refresh you will notice everything that i have removed has been removed from here now you can see we have this latest post and the recent post so maybe we want to remove this recent post 
from here because we already have the latest post and maybe we can just move this author box at the top and then just click on this upload image and then you can pick or upload your own image and then click insert and then in here just click on this update button right here and once you click on update button now if we'll go back and if i refresh now you can see we have this image showing up right here this is the search bar categories and the latest post and these right here are the blog posts that we found so for the blog posts you can just click on the post section right here and right here you can find all of the blog posts if you want to create your own blog post just click on this add new post button right here and once you click on add new post right here you can provide the title of the post Post and the content of the post will go here now you will have to click on this post tab here you will you can expand these categories and then you can assign the post to any of these categories or you can create your own categories for the tags you can add the tags here for the featured image you can attach the featured image here and also make sure you attach the excerpt now in order to change the category for your blog post just click on these categories and once you click on these categories right here you can find all of those categories here if you want to add your own category categories just enter the name here and enter the description for the category and then click on add new category and it will add the category automatically for you now you can click here it will open the single post page it is already properly laid out so we don't actually have to do anything here and you can see this is looking just fine so in this way you can also update the blog page on the website as well so next up we have this portfolio page so let's just click on the portfolio page and once you will click on the portfolio page you can see this is how it is looking and this is not definitely looking quite fine because we don't need the sidebar so just click on this edit page right here and once you click on the edit page it will start loading the page in your wordpress dashboard here you will just have to wait and here right here you can see it says template default template so click on default template and then from here just pick portfolio and then click on this update button and now if you will view this page in a new tab you can see now it is looking fine so in this way you can properly make or customize this portfolio page as well next up we have this about us page so click on this about us page right here and here notice the colors and the typography are not looking fine which means we'll actually have to adjust all of these things so let's just fix these things just click on this edit with elementor button right here and once you will click on this edit with elementor the elementor page builder will start getting loaded just wait until it will get loaded so for me i already have opened the website in a new tab the demo let's just open this about us page in a new tab so that we can make everything look good so here you can see we have this image at the background so we need to adjust the image here for that open this navigator and click on the section right here and once you will click on the section notice this left panel has been changed click on this style tab and then click on this image right here and notice there is image attached already just click on this select button and it will get selected here now let's have a look at this one we have text in white color so click on the text and then click on the style tab then open this and try to select a color so this is not the color we'll just pick the complete white color so once again for the second heading i'll choose the white color here and you can see this is how it is looking we can also change the color of the divider so select this primary color for the divider now for the second section right here you can see we have this primary color here and then black color for the heading in the paragraph so let's just scroll down let's just change the color go to style tab and make it primary and then this color right here let's make it black and this is already black right here and for the button right here you can see we have this primary color for the button so i'll just click on the button and then go to the style tab and then click on the color and change the color of it if you want you can also apply the hover color for the hover color just change the color to black so that whenever someone will hover over it you can see it is transitioning to the black color now for the other section at the bottom you can see all the text is in the black color so i'll just click on this heading right here and then the style tab i'll change the color to black and then this icon list go to style for the icon we'll select the primary color and for the text right here we'll select the black color and you can see this is how it is looking if you want to use the lighter color you can select the lighter color like this and you can also apply that lighter black color to this text as well now you can scroll down and here you can see we have these black colors here so i'll select this heading and then go the style tab and then i'll change the color to black 
black and then for this text right here let's just choose the light dark color here now for this section you can see titles are black here so i'll select on this title and then style tab and then i'll change it to black and then we can just copy this and we can paste this style to other headings right here now at the bottom you can see we have an image at the background so click on these six dots here then click on style and then click on image we have this image right here just click select and it will get loaded now for the background overlay just change the color to the black color and we look fine now for the colors everything is black so click here and then go to the style tab and change it to white color do the same thing for the other heading change the color to the white color and it is looking fine now this testimonial section again we need to use the primary color here so go to the style tab and choose the primary and then for the heading go to the uh, style tab and change the color to black these testimonials look fine I, I already showed you how you can update all of these things so i'm not going to tell you how you can update these things so click on this update button and now you can see our about page is also ready now at last we also need to update the contact page so click on the contact page right here and once you will click on the contact page notice our contact form is not showing at the bottom so if i open this contact page on the demo website you can see we have this contact form right here and then we have this map so here you can see there we have this form and we have this map so let's just fix the colors here so click on the edit with elementor button and once you will click on the edit with elementor you will just have to wait until it will get loaded and once it will get loaded let's go to this website and here you can see we have this background image so in the navigator turn on the navigator from here then select this section and then click on this tile and then select the image from here just click once it will automatically fetch the image and just click select and it will select the image now we have a overlay color so click on the background overlay and instead of this color click on this dark color and now you can see it is looking fine now we have to change the background color of this section so change this color to this secondary color and now you can see everything is looking good and everything is in dark color so meaning we don't have to do anything extra here and that is all just click on this update button so here you can see all of our pages are ready now let's just have a look at the end that how you can edit the footer on our website so for that click on this customize button right here and once we'll click on the customize button the customizer will start getting loaded and once it will get loaded scroll all the way down until you can see the footer and here is the footer so click on the footer option here then notice is it's saying show instagram feed and it is coming from instagram feed plugin so let's go to the dashboard of our website and let me just show you how you can connect the instagram so once you will go to the dashboard here you will see the option instagram feed click on this tab right here and then it will ask you to launch the setup wizard and once you will click on the setup wizard it will ask you to connect your instagram account so click on this add new and it will redirect you to this particular website where you will have to enter the details of your account so here you can see it is basic and business and it is using the api keys so from here click on add new and once you will click on add new here it will ask you following thing you can use the facebook or you can use the instagram directly choose the basic here and then it will ask you to connect with instagram once you will click here connect with instagram it will redirect you to the instagram page where you will have to log in once and once you will log in it will automatically connect your instagram with the website and then from here you can create your feed and you can use that short code here but in my case i'm not going to use the instagram feed here so i'll just disable it from there and once i'll disable this you can see it is no longer showing there now in here you can also replace the logo that is showing here and in here you can change this copyright text so for that let's just change to copyright 2024 photography portfolio photography portfolio and blog and then at the last all rights reserved and here you can see it has been updated now in order to edit these two columns right here first of all let's just click publish here and let's close this one and once you will close this hover over to this dashboard and then click on this widgets and once you will click on this widget this is how the widget panel will open remember i already show you how you can edit this sidebar so here is the footer one 
click on the footer one and here is this widget for the social media and here you will find facebook twitter instagram pinterest and linkedin and for the footer two which is actually the column two and this is showing the newsletter if i go to the website and if i scroll down here you can see this is showing the newsletter here so from this place you can also edit the footer the columns one and the column two at this place now in order to set up the social media links i already show you that you have to click on this customize and once you will click on this customize button the customizer will start getting loaded you will have to wait until it will get loaded and then from here you will find this option social network click on the social network and in here you can place your social media urls that is how you can connect your social media accounts with the website so this is all about how you can create your photography portfolio website with the blog functionality in wordpress i hope you have found this tutorial helpful if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates if you need my help in creating the website you can send me a message on whatsapp or you can reach me out through email and if you have any questions you can drop them in the comment section and i'll try to answer your question as soon as i can all the resources that i have used in this video i'll drop them in the description of this video so that you can find them and you can follow along to create the similar kind of website for your portfolio or for your client or for your own business thank you very much for watching this video i hope this was useful for you and i'll see you in the next video